Hey guys, it's Thrash02, back with Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. One more small thing before we go and progress the story. Something very nice, if I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. And I do say so myself. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to go down here and meet another sexy lady. Another shiny sexy lady. Oh yes. Ah. Ah. Welcome to the Adventure of Spring. I need many rupees right now. Please, throw all of yours into the spring. Well, I don't have that many. And in my experience, giving girls my money, I, use, I tend to get things in return, let me tell you. Sure. Really? You know that if you do this, you will have absolutely no rupees left, right? You will really throw them all in? I better get a blowjob for this. You are most kind. I do not really need your rupees. But I must reward such a kind adventure with some of my power. I hope that means what I think it means. You've got a big wallet. Now you can carry more rupees. Uh-huh. And you farewell in your quest. Well, I... Uh I guess that's alright. We can now carry 999 rupees. And. We're, so I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for a treasure chest because we are in deep need of kinstones and rupees. Yes. So I will see you in Castle Town now. So yeah, we need to get our asses to the sanctuary. So we can upgrade our sword, and hmm, that reminds me, I need to go to Swiftblade after we upgrade so we can learn a new thing! It's actually pretty helpful, a new thing he gives us, but now nah, I'll wait till then. It's really simple. So, yes. Are you sure I look alright? I never know what to wear to these formal occasions. In my first recording of this, I guess I bumped my microphone or something because it just randomly cut out and I lost like most of my audio. I had to redo the whole thing. Eh, just as well. It's it was quiet like it was a few episodes ago. I it was. Link, look, you see how that doorway glows? Could that be the door that leads to the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle seems to be able to see it but you and me. Let's go, quickly. How do you know? Did you go around and inquire everybody to see whether they could see the glowing stairway? Or doorway? Eh, whatever. It's so peaceful and relaxing in here. I love it. Ah. Uh, the music got a little bit more creepy. But, that chime So this is the element of sanctuary, then. This is where we can infuse your blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle there. Alright, well let's shove our sword into it. <laughs> if I had a nickel. Alright. So, now, our sword will be stronger and it will be... PURPLE! I mean red! Yes. Link holding it up like a true swordsman. The powers of earth and fire elements are have infused your blade. Hmm? Aw, big stone slab blocking the way. Hmm hmm. Let's see if I can't read this tablet for you now. Fill your soul with the power and walk over to the glowing tile. Hmm. Perhaps it refers to the flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Link. Alright, so we just gotta charge up like for a spin attack, and then let our secondary meter show us. And then... We get to... Whoa, you just split in two. So this is the power of the White Sword. I guess you can dub yourself like that anytime you see these panels. And once we get the next element, we'll be able to triple ourselves, and then the other one, we'll be able to four swords ourselves. Good times. Here's the actual first puzzle we need. Uh, press the buttons. 
Now when one of your clones hits a well, it'll just evaporate like that. I don't know, I think it's a neat touch. And it definitely explains some things. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Interesting. You're the last person I expect you to find here. Vati is going to have my voice, because as you know, me, myself, I am pure, concentrated, unsalted evil. And just as I was one wondering who could be behind this, I find my old master. Hmm? Damn you and your fancy animations, Vati. Vati! And as always, you are dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. My curses are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should never have created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool! A hat that grants the wishes of its wearer? It's a, it's a spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I've gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to... The greatest sorcerer alive! <laughs> you cannot stop me now, and I have you to thank for all of it. Thanks, Master. Accept this small gesture of my gratitude for me. Wait, Vati, wait! We're getting a present? I want a present! Yay, Moblins! Things to kill with my brand new sword! Thank you, Vati, it's just what I wanted. Yes, giant blue pigmen to slaughter. That was fun. Thanks, Vati. You are my favorite uncle. That foul, Vati. What could he be scheming now? Link, I feel I owe you an explanation for what has happened. You see, Vati and I are both Minish. Huh, maybe I should speak with you in the Minish voice. I was once a famous sage and renowned Minish craftsman. Vati was only a boy when I took him on as my apprentice. But he became en enchanted by the wickedness in his in the hearts of man. One day, Vati took a, took a hat I made for the humans, my, my pride and joy. It granted the wishes of the wearer. He put it on without my permission. <laughs> this is going to turn out funny. Ah, magic hat. And now? Vati, what are you doing there? Vati's still epic enough to have my voice. Oh, oh, what a vile form you've taken. Vile? I'm a sorcerer now, and my power is beyond compare. None can stop me. Why, Vati? Why are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens. And when it does, I shall claim the Light Force as my own. I will be transformed, perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. Now, Dark Ball! Ah! <laughs> That's gonna turn out good. Oh no, he's flashing him! And that's the story of how Elzo became a hat. Yeah! <laughs> it's so funny. Tell me, how does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? There's nothing you can do to break it, Elzo, or to stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. Goodbye, Mr. Hat. You know the legends, of course. The gift of Core gave to the humans. What you called Core Blade was the first of those gifts. The second? Well, you called Life Force, but is the source of limitless magical power. If Vati were to get it now, it would be devastating. I came to the world of men hoping to stop Vati, and I met you in the in the woods. But it seems we won't be breaking the curse uh, on me anytime. Wait a second. Thought just occurred. If he's a Minish, how come he couldn't understand the Minish language when we first went to a Minish village, Minish? Ah, uh, plot error. I found a plot error in a video game. 
I feel so, so fulfilled. Whatever, where was I? However, with sacred blood, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry, all that has happened has been due to my own pride, my father. I must rely on you, on your power, until we put an end to that. And, ow! Why do you keep doing that? That hurts my nose. Well, then, enough facts, Taz. We must search for the next element. Okay, en enough of that, uh, Elzo Minish voice. It is funny, but I, I think that's enough of it. Oh boy, is it funny. Alright, we are going to want to progress the story in this episode. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Now here at Tribly Heights. Tribly. Here we can use this to move that block. I like it. It's just, I don't know. Just so nice. Like rice. Rice. Ah, new area. And a green headed moblin. He's not a blue man. Ah, kinstone. Why am I collecting the mysterious shells? I'm not going to be doing a thing with those. Oh, wait, we need to go over here. Hello, I am Fabasi, poet literate of Hyrule. And you are Link? Oh no no, the pleasure is mine. I traveled all over the realm, writing verses wherever I go. But here I am, returning after a long absence only to find the road blocked. It wouldn't feel like such a waste if I hadn't lost half a mark. Wait, he's not southern! Hadn't lost half a mark. God, God damn it! When misfortune rains down upon- When misfortune rains down upon my head, it pours in torrents. Why is, do I have such a good southern accent? I I think I may have dro dropped in the inn I stayed at last time. I see no other course to, but to put the, the traffic e efforts. Blah! I see stars beyond the rainbow, but I cannot reach them. Though the, the stone I lost is small, large was its place in my heart. That did not rhyme, you cock noodle. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I accidentally pressed R. Damn cock noodle. I was trying to make him sound French because I think he's supposed to be French, but. Man, eh, whatever. We're going this way now. <laughs> eh? What a strange feeling. I sent something from the castle's direction. Or was it just me? Hey, it's the King of Hyrule. And it's Vati! Hmm? Who's there? What? Vati? How did you get in here? And now? Uh, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> and now Vat and now the king is Vati's shadow puppet. I'm gonna be keep using Vati's voice for the shadow puppet king because I like it better. It looks like you're all you're all here. Very well. The king of Hyrule has words for you. Me. You all know the power the cor the core gave to mankind, do you not? The golden light force of limitless magical power. I want it! It's somewhere here in Hyrule. Go now and bring me this power. Waste no time. Go forth at once and bring me the light force. Fling anyone who refuses refuses into the dungeon. Him and his family too. I will tolerate no disobedience. Now, search high and low throughout the lands of Hyrule. A little intimidating, aren't I? Hmm, maybe it's just the wind, but I hope nothing has happened. Anyway, we need to go look for that evidence. 
The map says it should be somewhere around here. We will search in the next episode. This is Thrasho 2 saying, be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.